I'm going to show you how to add your company logo to purchasing documents as well as work orders. Okay, I'm logged in as an administrator and I'm going to access the program configuration screen. Go to my settings menu, logo and image settings. First I'm going to pick a report logo. Okay, so I'll go down here and I'll find the logo I want to use. I'll go ahead with this one. This is the main smart logo. All right, so I've done that. Now that logo will appear on the documents that I have selected as follows. Uh, currently it will appear on purchase orders and purchase requisitions. I'm going to go ahead and have it show up on work orders too. So I'm going to click here and that will put a check mark on the work orders menu item. All right, I'm going to exit this screen and I'll test out my changes. I'll go to the purchasing screen. I'll pick a purchase order. Right click. Print PO. And as I can see, my logo does appear. All right, let's try it on a requisition. I'll go to the requisition screen. Choose a requisition. Right click. Print requisition and I can see it also appears here as well. Now this is the new uh, somewhat abbreviated purchase requisition report that we put out in this same version of MateSmart 5.0.8.8 and it's much abbreviated over the uh, previous default version of the requisition. Now the way you switch between these is from the options and we have a menu item down here, Use Detailed Requisition Format, which is unchecked. So while we have the simple format show up, I'll go ahead and check it. And I'll look at the same requisition. And as we can see now, there's quite a bit more detail on it. So you have a choice now. All right, so we can see that our logo works there. Let's go ahead and look at our work orders. So I go to the work order screen. And I'm just going to pick a work order down here. And I'll right click on it, pick print preview. And again, we can see that our logo shows up here as well. Now we can turn this off. And if we turn off the logo, we just get the original default screen with the company name and so on. All right, there's something else we can do here with the uh, new version of MateSmart as far as images go. And with work orders, what we can do is we can actually add. Uh, image file attachments. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Bring up the. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add this um, gears.jpg, and you can add JPEGs or PNG files um, to uh, work orders in this new version of MateSmart. So if I click save, what that does is that it, it actually attached that picture to the work order. We see it's not on the work order. Okay, that's because we haven't actually set it to be embedded into the work order. We just simply linked it to the work order as a file attachment. Now you may recall, if you've been using MainSmart, we do have print options and print attachments with work order. If this is checked, what MainSmart will do is it'll look at all the attachments that are in this list and go through and find the program that opens that attachment, open it, issue it a print command, and then close that. So it could be an Excel file, it could be a Word document, it could be a picture, it could be any type of document, even a video. In this new version of MateSmart, we can still do that. However, we can also right click on images and say embed. Okay, when we do that, what happens is this menu, this uh, listed item here, which is essentially just a file path to the image. Uh, becomes red and that's indicating that it is embedded in the work order. So let's see how that works. I have the work order selected. I right click and I pick print preview selected work order. Okay I see my logo still there but where's my image? So I scroll down I get down to the bottom and there's my image. Now you can add up to six images to each work order. I hope you like this new upgrade. Thank you for watching.